Josh Thompson is 25 years old. Hermes Franca, four years his senior and gives away four inches, which could be a huge advantage for Thompson with the reach if this becomes a striking game. Both weigh in at 155 pounds as this is a lightweight matchup. Tail of the tape brought to you by Miller Lite. And here we go. Touch gloves in the center. Hermes Franca definitely wants to get this fight to the ground. Even though he won his last fight with a knockout of Kyle Uno, he's not really a traditional striker. He's, uh, he's not a finished striker. Josh Thompson is a much more refined striker, much more dangerous on his feet. As I mentioned in the advertisement of Thompson, good amateur kickboxing record. He finally kicked the curse, and now he has been a regular here in the UFC a couple of times. Joe Silva tried to book him, and he was injured. He was frustrated, finally got in, looked impressive in his win over Gerald Strebent. A knockout win in under three minutes at those, UFC 44 right here. Those American Kickboxing Academy guys, they train very hard, and they, they spar very hard. And, you know, that's one of the things that happens. You get a lot of injuries. And he's unfortunately been plagued with quite a few of them. It took a long time before he could make his UFC debut. But when he did, he was spectacular. He's always said, if I weren't in the UFC, I would be flying planes in the Air Force. And he's flying high here in round one thus far. Watch the kick to the groin. Landless warns Thompson it was unintentional. I was very impressed with his debut uh, when I saw him in the WFA. Because uh, Rob McCullough, whoa, throws a head kick and slips. Rob McCullough is a well-rounded Muay Thai striker. He's a world champion. And uh, Josh Thompson stood on his feet with him and took him apart. I mean, it was, it was very oh, impressive. Oh, spinning Big back fist. A la Shuni Carter and Matt Serra. Haven't seen the spinning back fist in quite some time. That was pretty nice. Landed with the tip of the glove, didn't quite land with the full blast, but he just shows he's got well-rounded striking skills. Franca hasn't even seemed to go for a takedown as Thompson's really staying light on his feet here. Working in, working out, not giving Franca a chance to shoot. Yeah, Franca, he's got to figure out a way to get this fight to the ground. Standing out here, Josh is just going to pick him apart. That back fist, if it would have landed, could have ended the night for Hermes Franca. And Hermes isn't... Well, they, well, oh, there you go. Good one. Said that. And a Hermes knee. throws a nice right hand. Comes over the top with it. So Hermes kind of sizing up Josh Thompson, purely the aggressor, here in the first two minutes plus of round one. This fight scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Oh, nice. Good combination. Left hand, right leg. Don't see that in oh, any other sport. again with the spinning back fist. And Franca, again, was right there to defend it, though. Josh is getting loose. Can he get too loose here? Uh, he can, you know, I mean, look, anybody can get caught. In, in the striking game, it's very dangerous. That's one of the beauties of grappling, is that once you're in control, you know, you're in control. You get a guy down, and, you know, you can control his body, and you can protect yourself. Striking, guys are throwing leather, things happen. Tried to fake with the right, came with the left. Good combination using the hands and the legs, thus his kickboxing training. Yeah, he's very well-rounded. Nice right hand by Hermes Franca. So Franca sizing it up and starting to counter very well. Josh pulled away from that exchange straight back, and Hermes, oh, nice right hand counter and return. Well, both these guys trying to come over the top with the right, all like Chuck Liddell. Oh, uh, that Superman punch, he loves that. He fakes a kick, and he dives in with the right hand. Straight kick, nothing there. Good defense of, the, of a high kick again. Good variety of strikes, but Franca no worse for the wear thus far. No, Franca looks solid. It just, he looks like he's just kind of standing there, waiting for his time. There's a high kick from Franca. Both defending each other's strikes. Many more thrown here in round one by Josh the Punk Thompson. San Jose, California. He says, yes, I went to college. Yes, I have a degree. You'd rather not say where. So we'll have to press him on that if he's in a good mood, if indeed he's victorious. Good knee. Franca looks like he's just looking to counter with a big right hand. It looks like that's all he's looking to do. Now he presses a little bit. He scored a big right hand on Kyle Uno, knocking him out, and uh, he might be very comfortable with that. Now we go to the ground. This is Franca's world. And that's a big takedown. But it's a close guard situation, which indeed, as you said, could be Hermes Franco world. Well, Josh Thompson's no stranger to the ground. He's, uh, he's got great submission defense and great submissions. But this is definitely a much better spot for Hermes Franca than standing with him. Why then? Would Josh Thompson go for the takedown? He's a wild man. It does whatever he wants. You know, if he wants to take a guy down, he takes him down. I mean, Gerald Streetbent is uh, almost a pure submission guy, and Josh went right to the ground with him. He's like, I don't care, man. I'm not scared of your guard. Let's do this. 
22 seconds remaining in round number one. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, the shoulder lock. Oh, good job reversing it by Thompson. And again, I echo why does he go to the ground, but a nice job done. And you said his submission defense is solid, Joe. Uh, he's got, he's solid all around. He's very well rounded. Good elbow to the body. Take nice down take by down by Bronco. Now let's see Thompson's guard. Look at Thompson going for something. Wow. Yeah, Thompson's, he, he's very well rounded. Nice job by both fighters here. A fast paced, a barn burner, as was advertised. You know, that's two tough teams right there. American Kickboxing Academy versus American Top Team. Very tough guys. Waiting for something dynamic to happen. I think this one might end it in suddenly. It's not gonna be that easy to take Josh Thompson down. A Stanford wrestler, excellent takedown defense. This, this goes to the ground if Josh chooses to take it to the ground. And, and he did, and he did at the end of round one, as you said, and, because and, he could. Yeah, and that, that was his choice. I mean, uh, if he decides to keep this fight standing up, this is a bad place for Armis Franco. Nice oh, man great punch. fake, good combination. And another right with the nice. knee. The oh, knee of Franco oh. is able to gain the takedown. Now let's see what Armis Franco can do inside the guard of Josh Thompson, that's, but he had to eat one or two on the way to it. Yep, and that's what mixed martial arts is all about. He going for the Oma Plata or Maurice Franca. Now he's going for the heel hook. Hermes is trying to pass the guard. That, but what I'm saying is that's what mixed martial arts is all about. Take advantage of the guy striking and take him down. He ate that knee, Hermes Franca did, and took Thompson down. All right, now Thompson is uh, stuck here, and Armis Frank has got him in side control. Well, Thompson has won a submission fighting championship in the North American uh -oh, submission Armbar. fighting championship before, so let's see if he can apply his submission. Now Franca is up, and Thompson is down. The Punk utilizing that four-inch advantage, even on the ground, using the legs. Three Armis and a half minutes got his back. Oh. in round two. Okay. The pace is being pushed. And it's being pushed now by the punk Josh Thompson. Good defense by Thompson. And now Thompson's on top and Hermes is guard. Hermes is pushing off the fence here. His toes are stuck inside the fence. <laughs> that looks painful. He's looking to rotate his hips and maybe lock a hold of one of Josh's arms here. The fence is going to work against him because he is closed off on the distance to be able to do so, right? Yeah, Josh has got him pressed up against him. He's throwing shots. Different look to the fight here in round two. More of the ground skills now being displayed. Josh is looking to pass Hermes' guard. Carl Uno, Rich Crunkleton, both defeated by Franca. Strebent defeated by Thompson. Two undefeated UFC competitors. Thompson, 23 and one in mixed martial arts competition. Franca has never been defeated. He is a perfect 8-0 in mixed martial arts. Well, if this fight keeps going the way it's going, he's gonna, he's gonna have 8-1 after this. Armies is rolling over. He's trying, he's trying to work his guard, but to Thompson's credit, Thompson keeps him pressed up against the fence, and he's nullifying him. See what Thompson can do here. Uh-oh, has got a hold of a leg. Armies, good job by Thompson defending, but Armies does have a hold of his leg here. Oh, Those that right fists. connected. The back fist, now he'll try to come around the other way. Those back fists from the leg leg, that was the beginning of the end for Gerald Strebent. When Gerald was going for a leg, Josh does that, it's sort of like a backhand karate chop. He is creative, if not always effective, in his variety of strikes. The spinning back fist, that one displayed a moment ago with the back fist. Franca. Franca's in a bad spot here. Can Josh take his back here? But Josh is, you know, Josh can do whatever he wants. I mean, he, he can take his back. It's gonna be very hard to submit Hermes Franca, but it's his decision whether or not it goes to the ground. Right there, all he had to do is just back up and step away and force Hermes to stand up. He chose to take it back to the ground. 
It just shows, goes to, goes to show you what re truly well-rounded skills, how important that is in mixed martial arts. A lot of guys come in and they're very good at one thing. Hermes Franco is very good at Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Johns Thompson is much more well-rounded in my opinion. Says the training for this fight is 10 times harder than the last one. And afterwards, he'll train 10 times harder than that. Good job by Ernest Franca. Oh, getting out from the bottom. Off the knee. Oh, he just missed with the right. Thompson wants to engage. Franca trying to swing for the fences. Oh. And down goes Big Thompson. Knee. He falls down. Down Franca goes swinging. Thompson. Franca swinging with that right hand. How good is this? Ernest Franca's got a heavy right hand, and he knows it. He likes to throw that thing. Straight kick ducked under the right. Franco's ready to engage. Josh Thompson's got his mouth open. He's breathing kind of heavy here. High knee. Big right hand. Oh. Big right hand. He's rocked. He's rocked. Hermes Franco's got finish. a big right Franca hand. trying to finish. Swinging away. Oh, Swinging one. away. Continuing to try to pressure Josh Thompson. A barrage of rights. Oh. A barrage of rights continue. Oh, he and stopped Land it. Lewis, oh, Larry Landless is like continue. in the middle of stopping it there. He tried to get his best position, did Landless. And a good job done by our referee. Good job and not stopping it too soon. It looked like he was ready to jump in there. Josh is surviving. Hermes Frank has gotten lit in that right hand, man. They are on their feet here in wow. Las Vegas. Hermes rocked Josh with that one right hand and kept following up. Now, did he gas himself out? He still got four minutes left in this round. That's a long time when your body's burning. That was outstanding. Josh is in the closed guard right now. He's got Hermes in his closed guard, and he's just going to bide his time and try to recover here. And Hermes has got to recover, too. That was a big burst. This is going to be dangerously close on the scorecards. That, that was dangerously close to being a knockout right yep. there. Yep. Like I guess in the beginning of the round, Josh looked a little winded. He came out with his mouth open. And as you said, you don't speak Portuguese, but now we know what they said in the corner. Go into attack mode to begin this third round. And that's exactly what Hermes Franca did. I, th I think you're paraphrasing. Yes. <laughs> Sometimes it takes a lot more words, though, in, in other languages than in English. So that may have been the only thing they said, Joe. Right now, Josh Thompson's looking to wrap Hermes Franca up in uh, what's called the rubber guard. He's looking to get his hands underneath. He's get his hips up high and control Hermes Franca's shoulders and keep him from punching down on him. Larry Landless telling both fighters to push the pace or he will stand them up. And now I'm not sure to whom that advantage would go. Well, you know, it all depends on how much Josh Thompson has recovered. Like I said, Josh Thompson's the better stand-up fighter, but you know, Hermes Franca's got heavy right hand, a really heavy right hand, and he's not afraid to throw it. He wants to end this fight. He knows he's behind. His best chance is by knockout. First fight was in the 2001 hook and shoot competition. Franca has not been defeated inside the octagon, nor has he been defeated in mixed martial arts overall. Uh, Josh is doing a very good job defending here. Franca has got to do something. He's either got to pass his guard here. Uh, that, that's the only thing. He's, he's got to pass his guard or he's got to get to his feet. But he's, he's not going to be able to do any damage here trapped in Josh's guard. Josh has got action, too good a defense. Action. He's too good at blocking punches, keeping his hands up, constantly moving him, shifting him so that he can't get his base and, and, and punch down with any force. These two are a force. Combined record of 31 and 1 in mixed martial arts competition. What a great matchup here in the lightweight division. Josh Thompson, Hermes Franca. Franca trying to get some points back here in the third round that may have been given to Josh Thompson with his striking in round one. Okay, these guys have burned two and a half minutes in here like this, and uh, so far nothing's happened. Hermes Franca's got to make a move. He's behind this fight, in my opinion, even though he's got a big round. The start of this round was big. He's got to figure out a way to pass Josh Thompson's guard. Josh is getting his hips up high again. Larry Landless warning him. Josh going up, throwing up for a triangle. Well, Hermes let him stand. Nope. One minute remains in round three, our third and final round. Josh doing a good job of defending here. Uh, Hermes did not want Josh to stand up. He wanted to keep this fight on the ground, but 
He, he's well, got to do a, a better job of getting out of Thompson's guard. That's the only way he's going to do any damage. And he's got a knee in the stomach now. He's passing. You can hear him screaming now, now, now. They're up. Now Josh has got a hold of his leg. Oh, they're and up. And here we go. What a final 30 oh. seconds we're going to have. Oh, oh nice knee. knee. Knee the body. They're going to go toe to toe here for the last Stop. 30 seconds. Oh. Tape cut on this. the glove. Stop They're going to cut here. 20 hey, seconds. Hey. 20 right seconds. Neutral corner. Neutral corner. All right, they got it already. That was quick. You know what this is wow. now? This is the 100 meter right here, Joe. Crazy Bob Cook didn't waste any time there. A lot of boxing trainers, you see, they give their guys a lot of Let's extra go. time. They here take that glove off. Crazy Bob Cook just ripped it off because he thinks that Josh Thompson's the fitter athlete right here. Hermes has got to engage. Another spinning back fist. That time with the Ten left. Seconds. Ten seconds. Thompson for the shoot. Oh. Thompson with a takedown. Both had exhausted themselves. Fighting for 15 minutes, and what a matchup in the lightweight Great division. Fight. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Judge A. Bellardo scores the bout 29-28. Judge Marcos Rosales scores the bout 29-28. Judge Glenn Trowbridge scores the bout 29-28. For the winner by unanimous decision, Josh yeah! the Punk Thompson. Georges St. Pierre makes his UFC debut against the Heat. Carl Parisian, the Armenian with a bad, bad attitude. Georges St. Pierre against.